Dear Diary, after all of the stress and duress I've been under, I was in dire need of spiritual replenishment, so I decided to accept Quita's offer to visit her church. But little did I know, Satan would show up and show out. The word humility. What comes to mind when you hear the word? Modesty. Meekness. Very good, church. You see, we tend to make life so complicated when it's all so simple. God honors those of us who have humility. Yes, amen, amen. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, pastor, how do I practice humility? What do I need to do to show true humility in everything I do? Be Christian, be humble, and sit down. I know that's right. I said Christians be humble, Christians sit down. Christians be humble, Christians sit down. You better preach that word. Take your time, Pastor, take your time. We ain't having church up in here. We having church! Sister Jackson, if you would, lead us in song. Church is this? Christians be humble. Christians sit down. Christians be humble. Christians sit down. <laughs> Quita, you better stop twerking in this church, girl. Girl, I'm twerking for the Lord. He knows my heart. Uh huh. And Deacon Fitz is getting a hard on. Ooh, he is kind of cute. Hey. <laughs> Quita, Quita, it's Blake, Rothschild, and Ristanka. Child, what is she doing here? See, I'm glad I brought my knife. I knew something was going to pop off today. You can't cut people in church. Uh-uh, I know my Bible. God told Moses you shall cut the ram into pieces. And that's exactly what I'm going to do if she tries it. Shimmy, is that you? Why, <laughs> hello, Blake. There isn't any more seating in the church. Do you mind if we join you in your pew? Absolutely. Please join us. Slide down, Quita. I guess. It's nice to see you again, Shimmy. You too, Quita. Hey, Blake. Oh, yeah. Hey, Reba. That is not my name. Regine. Rhonda. Rita. Roseanne. Rebecca. Oh. oh. Oh, Blakey, I told you we shouldn't visit your late grandmother's church. So many undesirables here. Girl, you're not about to try us on the Lord's Day. No, you won't. Satan, I rebuke thee. Actually, this isn't our normal place of worship. We're here to help secure funding for the construction of a new church. Reverend Dingleberry is an old friend of the family, you know. No, 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 no. See, uh, First Peter, fifth chapter, fifth verse, makes it pretty clear that we are responsible for putting the garment of humility on our backs. No, 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 I know that message just touched someone. Let me say it again. I said we are responsible for putting the garment of humility on our backs. 
No matter who you are, what you have, and where you come from, you are no better than anyone else. No better than anyone else. Yup. Say that, Pastor. Certain people in here need to hear that one more time. God's spiritual stimulus plan involves humility. We actually have a surplus of it. But there are many people who are morally and spiritually bankrupt. Great point. Morally, spiritually, and most importantly, financially bankrupt. Just good for nothing. I know she's not trying to throw subtle shade. Thou shalt not throw shade, but you can catch these hands. Shh, be quiet. Don't be shushing me. If y'all want me to be quiet, then one of y'all can switch places with me and deal with Cruella DeVille over there. You have so many people walking around showboating, bragging about what they have, and looking down on their fellow man. But they fail to realize that we are all created in God's image. And he doesn't make mistakes, y'all. Do you hear me? There is no hierarchy behind the pearly gates. So no matter how many worldly possessions you accumulate here on earth, you can't take any of it with you. Now, I know I've never seen a U-Haul following behind a hearse. Sister Fitzgerald, have you seen it? No, I don't reckon I have, Pastor. I haven't seen that, no. What about you, Deacon Hicks? No, I can't say that I have. No, I haven't seen that, Pastor. Showboating, exactly. Walking around with that surgically enhanced nose in the air. That nose isn't the only thing that's been surgically enhanced. That's it! What the? Wait a minute. Not in the house of the Lord. Jesus didn't go to Calvary for this. Jesus didn't go to Calvary for this, but I bet I'm about to lay hands on her scalp. I got 20 on the one with the blonde hair. Baby, put me down for 10 on the blonde, too. 